In this video, we'll state the derivative of the arc sine and then do an example or two. This video is going to be kind of short because in general, we really are more interested in these derivatives as integration tools. That is to say, if every time we learn a derivative, we learn a corresponding antiderivative. And to a large extent, that's what we're after. The derivative of the arc sign is not what you'd probably expect. I mean, not that you're, I suppose you're coming into this with any really clear opinions about what this ought to be. But when you take the derivative of a trig function, you get something involving trig functions. So maybe you might think this derivative would involve the inverse trig functions, or this derivative would involve the regular trig functions. Nothing of the sort. This derivative is a fraction with a square root and a square. And we are not proving these formulas either in this video or in the notes. A proof is available in the textbook if you are interested. And now this is a derivative. All of our derivative rules apply to it. So for example, if we have a product involving an arc sign, we use the product rule. I mean, it's just a derivative of a product. Our functions are that and that. The derivative of the first function, leave the second function alone, plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. Or maybe slightly less trivial. What if we have the arc sign? of some complicated expression rather than the arc sign of X. That's a chain rule problem. The arc sign is the outside function Whatever we have here inside the parentheses is an inside function. So this six is a constant. It just sits there. Don't worry about it. The derivative of the arc sign, the derivative of the outside function is this, but we take our inside function and stick it inside 
then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. If we simplify a little, these constants and this x, 12x in the denominator under a square root. one minus the inside function squared. And we'll pick up with this in the next video, where we use this as an anti-differentiation tool. That is, where instead of going from here to here, we go from here to here.